Hello again, and uh, welcome to this uh, third video of the week, you lucky, lucky people on my channel. And today, um, we're looking at one of these, which again, came out today. It's the Nintendo Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. edition. Um, it has come out for Mario's 35th anniversary. So, um, to commemorate, they have brought out one of the Game & Watch uh, consoles with some games on it. Only a couple. But uh, let's have a look at the box. I have um, rectified some of the mistakes that I've made on the uh, on the previous videos. And we will show you those shortly. So first of all, it's, it comes with a wraparound. Like little O case. And I'll show you why in a minute. So on the front, you've obviously got the name of the console, the Game & Watch. It's got a colour screen. And I have just turned it on to make sure it, it works. And that screen is beautiful. Um, obviously your age ratings. And as with most Nintendo things, if you see that... AC adapter is not included. Yep, Nintendo really have a thing of not giving anyone plugs. Um, but if you, to be honest with you, you know we all have mobile phones that charge via um, USBs these days. So odds are you've got a spare plug lying around. It's just if you're using it for something else, you obviously can't charge this up. Um, the same is true with pretty much every Nintendo console known to man. Now I don't even think the Nintendo Switch came with one, and that is one that uh, to play on the TV you do actually need a plug. I can't remember. Maybe it did. Um, so anyway, yeah, there we go. That's that. And on the side, you've got the seal of quality. don't know why they put it on the side and not the back, but there we go. I'm being very careful to keep this slipcase in position, and there's a reason for that. Uh, the back shows you the games that are on it. So let's have a look. You've got... Uh, do, do mind the sticky as well. I took the sticker off. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 2, or Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, as it was known everywhere else. Ball, one of the Game & Watch games, and Time. Time's quite an obvious one. It's a clock. Um, to use this system, you will need a USB adapter. Um, yeah, you just charge in. So this slipcase is pretty cool because actually, if we pop it out, it's uh, it's just got the Mario stuff on it. The actual box itself is based on ball. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, the back's still the same. Although now you've got a uh, a little toad and a peach that was hiding. And also pretty cool. If we just open this box up. There's a little thing on the inside that says special thanks to you with a Mario and a Luigi. <gasps> Box is empty. Remember when I said I'd learnt what happened? Uh, to the side of me, I've got everything else that's in the packet. So, you've got your requisite health and safety information for Super Mario Brothers. And I'm guessing this also tells you how to use it. Yep, how to charge. Button names and functions. Removing the battery. Well, no one would need to do that. But as with most things, we just throw that away. We don't need it. You've also got USB cable. So they give you a cable to charge it. But you don't, uh, oh, it's got a Nintendo logo on it. Um, you don't actually get an adapter. And then this. There we are. That's uh, the, the Game & Watch. Which I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, to play one-handed. But I can press the buttons. Remember when I said the screen was really nice? So let's go through the buttons first. Obviously you've got your D-pad. Nice little D-pad there. And you've got an A button and a B button. Oh, they're nice. They're rubbery. Rubbery feeling. Then you've got, if we sort of pop in a bit, you've got Game, which I'm guessing selects the game. Time, which gives you the time. And Pause or Set. Um, and then on the back, you, you've just got some safety information. But I like the colour scheme. I think the colour scheme's based on one of the original Game & Watches. Or also, I think the, um, the Famicom or the Family Computer was this colour scheme in Japan as well. On the side... That's where you plug your USB in. That's the power to turn it on and off. And I'm guessing that's the speaker on that side. Phone doesn't really work. No, I think that's the speaker. So let's press the button. Watch this. Good screen here. Oh, there we are. So if I press time again, does it give me a screensaver? Oh, no. It, I can check. Oh, wow. Okay. It changes what level we're on. This is the current time, by the way. So that's that's correct. Uh, we press game, then you get to choose what you want. So you can have Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers Two, or Ball. Well, let's um, let's see what uh, what this looks like. Let's do Mario. It's pretty nice and quickly in loading. Um, like I say, I'm not going to be able to play this one-handed. Let's try it. <gasps> well, we've survived the first Goomba.
Can Gav finish World 1-1 using one hand? He just might. He just might. Oh no! <laughs> there you go. There's nothing else much more to say about this actually. If you want one, then um, you can get one from sort of the Nintendo online shop or uh, I think places like Game and Amazon and stuff are still selling them online. Um, this costs £45. Obviously your mileage as to whether or not you actually think it's worth it um, would very much depend first of all on whether you actually like Mario Brothers because, you know, there's nothing else to play on it. It's just Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, or Lost Levels, if you want to be um, Western about it, uh, and Ball, which is... Well, actually, let's, let's show you Ball, because Ball is based on one of the old Game & Watch titles. Um, you can reset a game. Da, 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 da. Ball. So, you see, the idea is that you will have to juggle... And so on and so forth. This would have normally been... Oh, no, we lost. This would have normally been um, on a uh, one of those old old style LCD screens. But yes, so your, your mileage on this is going to vary depending on how much you like Mario. And also, if you want to own a, um, a special bit of uh, 35th anniversary merchandise, which the box doesn't tell you anywhere on it. Um, because this is only available up until, I believe, it's either the end of March or the end of April next year. But uh, once it's sold out, it's sold out. It's gone. They're not making any more. So, as I say, this is worth £45 now, but I would imagine as soon as um, Nintendo don't make them anymore, it uh, it will probably start to appreciate in value. So, uh, you know, if you want to buy it for a collector's purpose... Uh, which is mainly what I did, because I'll get some enjoyment out of having portable Mario. But I'll be honest with you, um, I could also play portable Mario with a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> um, or the, the 3DS, as it happens, or the DS, actually. So there's um, there's, there's plenty of, uh, of ways of playing portable Mar Super Mario Brothers. But the screen's very nice. It's rather large. Um, I say, when I was just demoing it through, uh, just now on the video, I was doing it through the camera viewfinder. But I can tell you that the, the, the screen is very nice, very clear. And um, yeah, I'm, that's it's quite impressive. I think I'm going to have quite a bit of fun with this, and uh, and you know, it's um, it's something that's that's suitable for everyone because you know, a game like Mario just never gets old, which is why it's still around 35 years later. So, happy anniversary, Super Mario! And um, yeah, thanks for watching. You know, as always, if you've liked what you've seen, do um, you know send me a comment. Let me know that you've enjoyed it. I always like reading comments, good or bad. I like reading them anyway. Um, but bad ones do make me feel a little bit sad. Um, <laughs> hope you join me next week because next week we're hopefully going to be looking at a PlayStation Five, which is going to be considerably, considerably larger than this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.